Hello there, I'm Suraj, CMO of Baycast. I personally wanted to welcome you to Baycast and also take a couple of minutes to explain how Baycast works. So let's get started. If you have successfully signed up with Baycast, you will be asked to install the desktop application as well as Google Chrome extension. If your desktop app has been installed, you will see a widget appearing on the left hand side. If your Chrome extension has been successfully added to the Chrome app, or Chrome browser, you will see the extension appearing in the extension bar on the right hand side top. In order to start the recorder, hover your mouse cursor on the widget that is appearing on the left hand side and click on the record button. The record button basically allows you to do the recording in two modes. So one is the entire full screen capture or second is you can do the specific area select and do the capture. For this demonstration, I'll do a quick fill, uh, full screen recording. As soon as you start the full screen recording, you will see the counter appearing that gives you a couple of seconds to quickly prepare your screen and start the uh, recording. In addition to the, to the uh, counter, you will see a recorder bar that has appeared at the bottom. You can actually take this recorder bar and adjust and keep it anywhere you want it. For now, I'll put it in the top and I'll explain certain functionalities. Uh, while you're recording your screen, as you can see, the recorder has already started and the timer is going up. During the recording, in case you want to take a pause and prepare yourself, uh, you can click the pause button uh, to pause the recording. Uh, you know, again, get ready yourself and resume the recording. Start over option allows you to restart the recording entirely again from the scratch. Uh, delete option basically allows you to delete the recording so far done. Uh, annotation allows you to highlight certain areas of the recorder uh, in case you want to have you know certain information highlighted such as you know pricing certain functionalities certain menu items etc uh, in addition to that you have a couple of other controls which is related which is related to the audio and video there are two audio and video control options that you have available so video option is in case you want to record the screen with the camera bubble enabled, you can switch that on and off depending on how you want to do the recording. Uh, microphone option uh, is one for the microphone where I'm speaking. If you want to enable or disable the recording, I can switch that on and off. Similarly, if I want to capture the system sound, which is whatever you are playing on your computer, which is a video sound or a Zoom meeting sound, in case you want to capture that, you need to make sure you have that option enabled. This is how quickly the recorder uh, works and these are the quick controls that you have. Once you're done with the recording and if you hit the done button, the moment you hit the done button, our system puts the video on the cloud and makes it available for you to uh, share it with others. And depending on the length of the video, it takes a couple of minutes for the video to be available. So once all the videos are uh, recorded, all the videos will be available in your all videos section. So as you can see, these are my videos that I had uh, recorded in the past and the one which I just quickly did is available uh, here. So as I said, depending on the length, it takes a couple of seconds. If you want to quickly change the name of your recording, just to add the clarity around the video, you can change the name of the video. Uh, now, once the video is, is available for you to uh, share with others, there are a couple of sharing options available. You can go ahead and copy the direct link of the video and share that with anyone via instant message uh, or email and they can watch the video. In addition to that, we have also another option to share the video is with the uh, email option. So from here, you can actually directly send an email to the person with whom you want to share the video. Embed option allows you to quickly create the embed code where you can take this video and embed it on your website. Password protection basically allows you to protect the video. So in case uh, the video that you're sharing has a sensitive information, you can enable the password uh, protection and share that password with others to watch the video. Sometimes when you're doing the recording, you want to edit certain parts of the video, right? So it's it's natural that you know we may not be able to do the recording 100%, right? And we want to remove certain parts of the video, certain parts of the video before you share it with others. The, the trim options or the edit option basically allows you to remove certain parts of the video. So let's say in this video uh, that I have, I want to basically take a uh, couple seconds off of the video. So let's let's say in the middle, uh, I have about uh, uh, 10 seconds. 
where I want to remove the video. So let's say from this particular point to the five seconds I have, I want to remove the video. So let's say between these two points, I want this entire section to be removed because it is not recorded properly. So what you need to make sure is you need to select the start point, split the video at that point, select the end point, which is where you want the video to be edited or removed, and again split that. Now this is the area where it will be uh, completely removed from the video. All you have to do is now that you've selected the area, drag the green bar and make it unselected area by just dragging it to the left side uh, or depending if you've selected the left drag bar, you move it to the right side. And now this particular area, which is highlighted in a, in a faded red color, will be removed from the video. So this is helpful in case you want to quickly make uh, uh, edits to your video before you want to share that with others. If you're happy with the changes that you have done, uh, you can play the video just to listen to the uh, edits that you have done. And you can hit the save changes and it will save the edits that you have done. In addition to that, you have a couple of uh, other options as well. So you can move the video to specific folders. Uh, we allow you to create different folders to store your videos in different folders depending on the use case of the video. Also, you can uh, control certain settings for your video. So in case you want uh, others to uh, not comment on the video, you can disable the comments on the video page. In case you don't want to allow, you don't want to allow others to download the video, you can disable that as well. And also if you don't want to show the analytics, which is the number of views the video has got, you can disable that option as well. And password protection, which we already saw in the share option. One more option that you have uh, available uh, to your video is, is a CTA button. So what you can do is at the end of the video, uh, whenever a video is, is being played and it's completed, a CTA button can be made available. CTA, button, CTA buttons typically allows you to add more context to your video. So for an example, if you're doing a sales pitch and at the end of the video, you want to display your calendar link to book a meeting. So CTA button allows you to add that option. So all you have to do is just label the button that you want to add at the end of the video. Um, and just add the link. I'm just adding this as a demonstration, but now you can see that there is a button that will be available at the end of the video, and this will be the calendar link. If you want to add multiple CTA buttons, you can add multiple CTA buttons as well. So this gives you an ability to display multiple links uh, to your CTA. This is all about uh, uh, Baycast's uh, record, edit, and share capabilities. There's one more section that I wanted to quickly highlight is team management. From team management, you can add the team members to whom you want to give access to Baycast. Uh, Paycast pricing works based on the number of users use the Paycast. So if it's a one user, there's a certain amount that is charged. If it's two users, the same amount multiplied by two is what you will get charged. Custom branding quickly allows you to brand your own video pages. So when a recording is completed and you share it with others, by default, it's a Baycast uh, branding and Baycast URL. If you want to change that with your own logo and with your own custom subdomain, you can basically do that through this uh, custom branding option. This is very useful, especially when you're sharing a lot of videos to you with your customers or your clients and you don't want uh, Baycast branding to appear. Uh, settings options basically allows you to control different settings uh, globally in your recorder. So notifications basically allows you to get the notification as soon as someone views the video or adds a comment to your video via app notifications as well as email. If you don't want to get these notifications, you can disable them completely. Then there are certain options which is related to the recorder. Uh, as you can see, uh, you know how you want to start the recorder, how many seconds would you like to uh, show the countdown as, uh, etc, etc. Uh, other than that, uh, globally, if you don't want, uh, you know, all your videos that you're creating should not have a comment section that can be controlled here, the analytics, etc. This is related to your audio and video devices that are available for you to record uh, your video as well as audio in case you're using multiple video feed or audio feed. Hotkeys basically are the shortcut keys that allows you to control the recording. So sometimes if you don't want to 
uh, display the recorder bar on the, on the computer. You can hide that. Uh, sometimes you want to pause the recorder with the shortcut key instead of holding the mouse cursor on the controller bar and pause it. So these are the controller that are very useful, uh, especially if you want to do the recording where you don't want the recorder bar to appear on your screen, but still want to control the recorder with the shortcut keys. Experimentation features are basically the new features that we are adding in and uh, allowing you to participate in that. Uh, by default, uh, uh, they are enabled. In case you don't want to participate in that, you can change that. Um, at the bottom, also, you have a couple of options, which is where you can change your name, change your email, add the profile picture, and change the password. So this was a quick demonstration of how Baycast uh, works. I hope it was useful and help you get started with Baycast. Uh, I wanted to also take a quick one minute and highlight the Chrome extension available with us to record. Chrome extension exactly work as desktop application. So let me quickly explain how that works. Uh, when you click on the Chrome extension that is available on the Chrome extension bar on the right side, a tab opens, which is basically saying that the recorder is, is being prepared and uh, you give the uh, recorder the ability to record. So by default, you can see the camera bubble is available. You can hover the mouse cursor uh, and flip the camera, change the shape, etc and get yourself uh, ready to record the screen. As soon as you're ready to record the screen, uh, you can hit the record button. And now it will ask you what you want to capture in your recording. So I can select this as an entire screen. If I want to do a full screen recording, I can select a specific window uh, or I can select a specific Chrome tab if I want to capture that. Uh, share system audio is important for you to know that in case you are playing a video on your browser or window and you want to capture the audio of that system, uh, then you need to make sure you enable this option and share it. The moment you share it, as you can see, the countdown is happening. Now you can go to different screen where you want to do your recording. The recorder has already started and there's a recorder bar that is appearing. The recorder but the bar that you see here the recorder bar that you see here is the same exactly what you saw on the desktop uh, bar, but it's just a smaller uh, uh, recorder bar with a uh, quick option. So one is you can cancel the recording completely, restart the recording, pause the recording, stop the recording. Uh, once you finish your recording and you're happy with it, I will just click on stop recording. And what it does is in this tab, you will see a message being uh, displayed that the video is being uploaded. As soon as the video is uh, completed, it will be available in the Baycast uh, My Video section. Uh, from here, you can still uh, manage the video visibility, controls, etc. as I had explained in the desktop application. Uh, we have created Chrome extension for people who don't want to install the desktop application and still want to record the video directly from the uh, browser itself. So depending on your preferences, you can use the desktop application or Chrome extension. All right, uh, I can't wait how you will use Baycast and its features for your use cases. Um, we are always here to help you grow your business. Thank you and have a good day.